Hi, my name is Rob Barber from Bodyboard Holidays and today I'm going to talk to you about reverse of the lip. Hi, my name is Rob Barber from Bodyboard Holidays and today I'm going to explain to you how to do a reverse spin off the lip of the wave, okay? First of all, um, the main thing you need is speed, power, uh, and projection going down the wave, okay? You need to totally focus on the end section and maximize your speed as you approach it. Take a high line, then as you get to the lip, edge up onto it and make sure that that inside front corner of your board does not get engaged in the lip. So you literally need to put it up on top of the lip, okay? As you put it up on top of that lip into kind of a little mini re-entry position, it's at that point that you really throw your weight forward on the board, okay? Make sure that your chest right up onto the nose. At the same time, cross your legs up to your bum and throw your head over your shoulder so that you twist down the wave, okay? If you can get that movement where you get up onto the lip and then sort of reverse as you drop down, then that will be your primary reverse off the lip that you'll learn, okay? So they'll be a bit funky when you do them at first because you'll kind of be doing the reverse going backwards as you slide down the wave and then maybe landing it and pulling out you know maintaining the move at the bottom and straightening out let's now sit down and work through some video analysis like we would on one of our bodyboard holidays or coaching weekends okay so we've got a couple of good examples here of um, things going wrong and things going right so the first rider has well, an amazing wedge bowl. Um, the opportunity to launch a really crisp, perfect air reverse, I think. Um, unfortunately, they make a bit of a fundamental error. They take a wide bottom turn. That wide bottom turn leaves them right down the bottom of the wave. They actually lose speed, and um, the angle that they approach the lip um, with is, is then incorrect. And then hit the lip, a slightly strange angle, and then at the time when you'd be like really sort of throwing yourself into the reverse rotation by throwing your head over your shoulder, crossing your legs up to your bum and actually turning the board in the direction that you need to turn it um, to, to do the reverse spin. Uh, the board stays pointing in the direction that it was going, so towards the beach, whereas the body goes into reverse um, and, and the legs aren't crossed and therefore there's no rotation made hardly um, which left them in the V of the wave as it exploded uh, which is a really common error with, um, with reverses and something you'll experience when you're, when you're learning them. Okay, so this next clip is of me. I take off on a wave and I have a nice little bowl section at the beginning so I kind of go straight up to the lip and do an ARS and then when I land, try and get back up to the top of the lip and then jam just a little reverse off the, um, off the float resection at the end. So I get the nose of my board up there for that little re-entry manoeuvre and then pull my body up the board, tuck into the reverse. I could have jammed my head round over my shoulder more so that would have sort of flung me into the reverse bin more. Legs could be crossed up to my bum a little bit more and then I come out. So yeah, basically the points to take from that are could have thrown my head into it with more aggression could have crossed my legs tighter up to my bum and kept them there for longer and that would have um, um, created a faster rotation and made, made it look more stylish. Okay so this wave here is my good friend Bjorn Story who's actually one of the best at reverse off the lips or reverse floaters um, in the UK but he has a bit of a bad, a bad experience on this one. He, he sort of lines it up well uh, seems as though there's a little bit of a cross wave goes through the face of the wave which might have put him off a little bit um, give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Uh, but he, yeah, he hits under the lip and this is really common error with reversers. You've got to do that re-entry maneuver to get the nose of your board free up onto the lip and then jam the reverse. If you hit under the lip, you become one with a white water, embed you in the lip and pushes you down towards a trough. Better look next time Bjorn, but uh, yeah, he usually does better, so. Cool, next up. Okay, so this next wave is an example of a fairly average reverse section, um, but I get the opportunity to gain loads of speed from the takeoff, and that leaves me with the opportunity to get a bit more launch than I expected. So I've got loads of speed, I'm looking down the line and thinking, oh, this looks like a great reverse off the lip section. Lo and behold, I get enough power um, from the speed from the takeoff it launches me into a little air reverse, um, which kind of takes me by surprise. Uh, I do half of the, um, the air reverse in the air, land backwards, and then spin out a bit, um, and 
kind of get engulfed in the white water and just kick along with it. Yeah, persevere with this, it's a tricky one. Um, Michael F.O. Appleston was the guy that pioneered them. He's absolutely awesome at them. Um, so check out clips of him online. But um, yeah, good luck, get out there and enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. You can subscribe to our channel here. Watch more instructional clips right here. And if you want to subscribe to our mailing list, then please check it out in the link below.